A new ad from Democratic Senate candidate Sherry Beasley says, here in the U.S., you pay way more for insulin than you would in other, thir in other 13 countries, over 13 times more. Yeah, tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCreary is fact-checking where that number came from. The price of insulin vials, or a pen like this one, is a big deal. In North Carolina, one in eight adults has diabetes. Sherry Beasley thinks those costs are too high, but do her numbers add up? If you live outside the U.S., a month's supply of this insulin costs about $16, but here it's more than 220 Where did those figures come from? I found them in a study from the RAND Corporation from two years ago. It finds the average price for rapid-acting insulin in the U.S. was more than $113 a vial. In other countries, like the United Kingdom and France, it's only about 8 bucks a vial. The study also says the average patient needs two vials a month. The ad also identifies her November election opponent, Ted Budd, as opposing a bill that would have capped the price at $35 a month for people on private insurance. When Congress had a chance to do something, politicians like Ted Budd voted against it. The voting record shows Budd had plenty of company in voting no. All of North Carolina's eight Republicans in Congress opposed it, except one, Richard Hudson. I asked Budd's campaign why he voted no. Senior advisor Jonathan Feltz says the bill wouldn't lower how much drug makers charge for insulin. What it would do, he says, is lead to more profit for drug companies, higher insurance premiums on patients, and billions more in taxpayer costs. If insulin is so expensive here, where is it the cheapest? You can find out in this story online, where I've got a link to the study. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.